be home in time for dinner. But the deeper they went, the more the forest closed around them. The mist made it difficult to see more than a foot in any direction. The moss-covered rocks seemed determined to twist his ankle. More than once, he'd been forced to stay himself from the rough bark of a tree, and his hands now left the small trails of blood on everything he touched. Now, I'm getting at this point where my voice is starting to go, so I might just scroll through and just let you guys read. So I'm just going to scroll through because the more and more I'm using my voice, I'm not going to have any voice left. So I'm just going to scroll through. You guys can read it. Hello everyone and welcome to Kemple Moms Gaming. I am Kemple Mom. Hello, hello. And we are continuing in our playthrough of Near Replicant. So let's go. Yes, I had a hard time last time. <laughs> Lots of deaths. All right. And no, I did not get the flower. I checked this morning. So I'm, I'm getting really upset. Maybe if some of you could add a comment uh, on the videos and tell me if you've gotten the legendary flower in this game uh, which is the white flower the lunar tear um, tell me how you did it because I'm doing it by how they told me and I know it's less than 1% chance of getting it but it's like oh it's irritating okay we have to return to Jonah so let's go or Yona Jonah Jonah come on Yona boy ugh. I'm so smart. All right. Again, you guys can read that. I won't do it. Okay. And there's still wolves out of here. And he's just roaming. I suppose rules are rules, even if they are absurd. Yep, I don't think they're absurd. Oh? Those rules are important to the masked people. Hm? You don't say. Yeah, I don't I do. say. And I think it's important we respect that. Well, well. The boy is beginning to sound like a man. Boy? I'm not <laughs> a kid, you know. A boy? <laughs> hey, less talking, more walking. Or running, actually. We're not walking for running. Okay. Next. All right, let's go. Oop, I hit the wrong button. What's this? Oh, clay again, god darn it. Yeah, I still have to go and uh, do all the, uh, what do you call it, the upgrades? Weapon upgrades? I've even done that on my other uh, my other save. Okay, let's go. We're almost back. Oh, I don't, I'm not gonna get that. Fairies, yeah. All right. And she'll stay outside as usual because she doesn't want to stay in the in the town. All right. Um, this way. All right. I might just plant seeds in here, you know? That's what I might do. Yeah, I'm stealing from myself. Okay, let's talk to Yona. Yona? Oh, hey. How are you feeling? Better, now that I'm taking the medicine you brought. Good. Um, by the way, are you gonna stay here today? Okay, now you can stay or you can't, you don't have to stay, but I'll stay, I'll stay. You bet. Cause that's that's his sister. Yeah, Yona, I'll stay. Yay! 
<laughs> Yay! Now get back to bed. She is in bed. Okay. Okay. I'm nice. That's 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 my little sister. I gotta be nice. Oh wait, oops, I was gonna do something, but oh, I hear a voice. I squint and see a boy standing before me. His hair is silver, his skin is pale, and he stares up at me with hard, glossy eyes. Soon his lips begin to move, but no sound comes out. What is he saying? I can't hear him, I can't hear him, I can't hear him, I can't hear him, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'll, I try to leave, but something about the boy holds my gaze. I watch his face, expressionless, as his lips slowly flutter. What is he trying to say? Wait, it's a phrase. I can almost make it out. It starts with an S, and then there's an E. I can almost see it now. The letters begin to fall together, one after the other, faster and faster. Sealed verse. It's a sealed verse. The thing I'm looking for, the key to saving my sister. I stare at the boy with renewed ferocity, trying desperately to make out his next word. Dream. Dream? What? What the hell does that mean? His lips move again, faster now. I can follow them. Damn it, I can't make it out. I want to scream. I want to tear the walls down around me. But instead, I force myself to be calm. I can do this. I can do it with it for Yona. Slowly, ever so slowly, I parse out the letters that make up his final words. Forest of myth. I guess that's where we're going. Okay, the next morning. Just a dream. Just a dream. Even in my dreams, I'm hunting sealed verses. Oh, wow. Okay, he walked up there on his own. I was like, do I have to run up there? Okay, let's go talk to Yona. Morning. Morning. Morning, Yona. He's all out of night. What's wrong? Are you feeling sick too? No, I just... I had a strange dream. What was it about? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Because I had a dream too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Me and this boy were playing a game together. What kind of game? It was called Guess the Words. I think he made it up because I never heard of it before. <laughs> How did it work? The boy would move his mouth, but no words would come out. Then I had to guess what he was trying to say. Boy, she had the same dream. It was hard. I wanted to play hide and seek, but we had to play his dumb game instead. <laughs> so what did he say? I don't know. All I could figure out was dream and forest of myth. Oh, look, she had the same dream. But don't worry. I'm going to study hard so that next time I can figure out everything. We should play a game together sometime, too. Well, whoopee do. Sure, Yona. Yeah, sure, but you're sick. Right? Oh, she's talking. I'm ready to make that stew anytime. All right, so that means, yeah, I still have to get the stew stuff, but I, I'm not going to do those side quest things. I've already done with my other one. I'm just doing the story here. Something troubling you, lad? <laughs> it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Come on. I need to go ask Popola something. Yeah, back to Popola. All right. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Let's go in here. All right. Now, I don't know if I uh, told everyone, but in this game, there are five endings. We're just going to get ending A. That's what we're working towards. <sighs> What's up, Popola? Oh, hi. I just got a strange letter in the mail. Huh, it's a bill. <laughs> All right, dearest Popola, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing in hopes of bringing to your attention a certain dream issue of concern concern regarding recent events in a dream in Dream the Village. I was hoping I might be dream able to get your advice dream on the matter. Recently, there have been dream reports, <laughs> dream, dream of a certain dream, 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 dream of dream, 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 evil, dream, 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 empty, dream, curse, dream, 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 evil, dream, 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 words, dream, 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 and dream, 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 someone, dream, 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 dream. 
That is certainly one bizarre <laughs> piece of writing. I wasn't gonna write it, read out all the dreams. I just kind of went dream, 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 dream. Where's all right. it from? The mayor of a small village in the forest of myth. It's a wooded area. Oh gosh, I remember this one. The forest of myth? They're usually a bright and cheerful group of people. Something like this is very out of character for them. Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll check it out. Uh, you will? Don't worry about it. I've got business there anyway. Yeah. Oh, well, all right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we're heading off to the Force of Myth. Oh, yeah, that's something I have to do very quickly. One sec. Sec, guys. All right. Okay. All right. So let's go. So we're off to the force of myth. This one is very bizarre. I remember um, when I played it, I was like, huh? All right. Um, what I was saying is there's five endings in this game. So it's uh, ending A through E. Uh, each one, some will start at a certain point, and then others will have a diff complete different storyline. Um, I've gotten all five endings, but again, I'm not going to do it on here. Um, but just realize that there are five endings. I think Near Automata has 26 endings. I, I ended up having, um, getting 25 of the endings. God darn it, get on the four. Um, the 26th one I haven't gotten yet. Whoa, I don't wanna mow down the poor sheeps. Okay, four submit is over here. Whee, easy ride. Yeah, it, it pays off to uh, get to kill the boar and get the boar's tooth because then you can ride it. It won't like take you five hours. It's right here. All right. Okay. Sure is quiet here. Yeah. Such silence bodes ill. There's trouble on the way. Okay, I'm gonna save. Always no, save. Little... Always save. I cannot emphasize that em enough. Optimism now and then wouldn't hurt, Vice. Just in case. Such cheek. <laughs> Such cheek. Just in case. Okay. There's a box here. I'm gonna open up. Oh God! Hit the right button, Mom. All right. I'm gonna uh, get the boxes. I know where they are, and then we'll tend to all these, all this. Okay, berries. There's a box here. Medicinal. I think there's a box over here somewhere. Oh, I thought there was. No. Oh, it's right here. Okay, medicinal. I think that's it. Okay. All right, now you're gonna see how weird this is, but I'll give you all the clues or all the, uh, what's gonna happen. Beware. <laughs> Beware. <laughs> the words. <laughs> the words? What do you mean? Contagious words. So this is the mirror. Those who dream. dream. Those who dream? Hold a moment. There is a strange new sensation in my mind. Oh, great. Weiss' voice rose in a quizzical way. Here we it go. It is not quizzical. <laughs> What's going on? 
The villager's body shuddered as he slowly opened his eyes. Perhaps we should start by asking this man. Uh, who are you? We heard something happened to this village, so we came to see if we could help. The mayor stared at Kepamama and Vice. If you can speak to me, I must have caught you in my dream. Oh, great. In your dream? We're in his dream. The mayor explained. <laughs> in the past weeks, a mysterious disease called Death Dream has spread across the forest of myth. Those who caught it were cursed to fall asleep and live forever within the world of their own dreams. The village mayor had determined the death dream was spread from person to person by spoken words. But before he could learn more, the disease took him as well. Weiss stared at the mayor, his mouth twitching slightly. Now see here. <laughs> Are you saying that we have been absorbed into your dream? Well, yes. I the, think you have. Said the mayor. <laughs> In other words... Said We've caught the death dream? Before the mayor could confirm Kepelmump's suspicion, Vice exploded with rage. Ridiculous. Preposterous. <laughs> Completely unfathomable on every conceivable level. I don't even recall falling asleep. <laughs> That's just how the death dream works. Though polite, the mayor was clearly trying to brush aside the book's remarks. My remarks are not <laughs> to be brushed aside, <laughs> fool. The mayor twisted his mouth into an embarrassed grimace then uh, quickly changed the subject to who Kempa Mom had seen and what they had discussed since coming to the village. Something there must have caused you to enter my dream. A certain conversation, a specific word, something. Kempa Mom and Vice racked their brains but could, but could find no easy solutions. There were simply too many words to consider, too much random chatter, too many meaningless conversations. Grimoire Vice does not engage <laughs> in meaningless conversations. Oh, I love him. The mere suggestion that Vice chose his words carelessly seemed to sting his pride. It does not seem <laughs> to sting my pride, you bloated gas bag of a narrator. <laughs> and I'm the narrator. It has demolished it utterly. Oh, uh, God. Irritated Vice looked skyward as if searching for answers in the heavens. I was doing no such thing. Just leave me alone already. Uh, the anger created by his harsh words bled over Kepamom like a contagion. Wait, said Kepamom suddenly. Did someone say contagion? Yes, I believe so. What of it? Well, that villager told us to watch out for contagious words, right? The mayor leaned forward with a renewed interest, pushing a startled vice aside in the process. He must have said something, right? Asked the mayor. Some specific combination of words. What was it? It was about dreaming or something that dreams or... Oh, what the hell was it? A sheep, cried Vice suddenly, blurting out the first thing that popped into his head. The others stared at him for a moment before slowly shaking their heads. After a few minutes of thought, Kepamon's face suddenly lit up. I remember, he said, those who dream. That, that's what he said, I'm sure of it. At this, the mayor produced a thick sheaf of papers from his pocket. He flipped through them a few times before finally nodding his approval at Kepamon. That's right, he said, as a stray sheet of paper fluttered to the ground. My notes also mentioned something about that. I bet it was the last thing you heard before you fell asleep. The mayor shook his head, his worn pencil stub, tracing lines across the lone piece of paper. For the last month, I've done nothing but study the disease we call death dream. Dread, bleh, bleh, bleh. Death dream, he said. Say that five times. I mean, I'm the mayor, right? It's my job to protect the people from whatever comes along. But I never expected a couple of outsiders to start entering people's dreams. The mayor paused, a grimace crossing his face. Uh, I should probably be taking notes or something. Why? Vice immediately fired back. Of course, that's Vice. I applaud the force of will it takes to research a disease in your dreams, he said. But perhaps we should bend our, your efforts to escaping this place instead of trying to understand it. The mayor's hand tightened around his pencil snapping off the tip I've tried to escape from the very first moment I realized I was locked inside my own dream I've been looking for a way out but I don't think I exist I mean this is my dream right if there was an exit I know about it now I'm just going to let you guys know that there's going to be a lot of reading and it's probably going to take up the whole video but hey you know that's what it, it is what it is, right? All right. He paused for a moment, his unfocused eyes staring at nothing. 
My village was beautiful, he said, at no one in particular, and it was filled with the most wonderful people you could ever hope to meet. But once this disease took hold, things changed, and it, it's like someone took a sponge and soaked all the color out of our lives. It just, I just want to be whole again. I just want to be free. And I won't stop trying until it happens. Kemba Mom nodded in agreement. Huh, wait a second. I didn't nod. Look, if we can be of any help, said Kemba Mom, just ask. Now, hold on. I did not say that. <laughs> Silence, cried Vice. The grimoire looked from uh, Kemba Mom to the mirror and back again, his face filling with confidence. Grimoire Vice's face is always confident. Thank you very much. Now, see here, Mayor, you told us that nothing can exist in a dream without your knowing of it. But yet, you seem surprised to see us when we first arrived, yes? The mayor slowly raised his head, realization dawning on his face. Oh my God, he said, you're right, you're right. I had no idea you were coming. The human imagination is, limit is a limitless engine, said Vice, and dreams are the fuel. If you can imagine an exit, then it must be sold. It must be so. With your permission, we shall search it out. Thank you, said the mayor. I don't know how I can repay you. Payment is not required. We are as eager as you to be done with us, please. The mayor suddenly felt as if he could breathe again. He'd almost forgotten what it was like. Good luck, you two, he called at the departing forms of Kemba Mom advice. We are all counting on you. As Kemba Mom slowly faded into the misty forest, the mayor struck, was struck by a sense of deja vu. I saw this man once before, he thought, but where? Kemba Mom's mood darkened as he trudged through the forest. Hours earlier, when the beauty of the place was still a new thing, he'd been confident they could get in, find the exit, and be home in time for dinner. But the deeper they went, the more the forest closed around him. The mist made it difficult to see more than a foot in any direction. The moss-covered rocks seemed determined to twist his ankle. More than once, he'd been forced to stay himself from the rough bark of a tree, and his hands now left the small trails of blood on everything he touched. Now, I'm getting at this point where my voice is starting to go, so I might just scroll through and just let you guys read. So I'm just going to scroll through because the more and more I'm using my voice, I'm not going to have any voice left. So I'm just going to scroll through. You guys can read it. This is very long. I'm just, I'm warning you, it is long. So I'm going to let you guys read it. And you can pause the video if you did, you're not able to read as fast. You can uh, pause the video. Okay, I'll read this. The insects weren't just calling out, they were asking questions. One, okay, this is a riddle. So, um, hold on one second. I gotta clear this. Okay, this is a riddle. So, one with it is lacking. Two with it is ideal. Three with it is dangerous. What is it? <laughs> is this a riddle? Yes, it is a riddle. Okay, I'll let you guys read this out. Then I have to leave it to you to answer. Okay, here it is. One with it is lacking. Two with it is ideal. Three with it is dangerous. What is it? Okay. So it could be a secret, a seesaw. How should I know? Okay, I already know the answer. It is a secret. Because one is lacking, two is ideal. Because you tell a secret. Secret isn't good with one person. It's good with two, but if it's three or more, it's dangerous. 
Inwardly furious that Vice left the test to him, kept on side and gave the only answer that made sense. It's a secret. Her, right? Okay, you guys can read this. Oh, new path opened. So they're making a road. You guys can read this. And again, pause the video if it goes too fast. Okay. Here's the next uh, riddle. I enter through the window, but break no glass. When night falls, I vanish. What am I? Okay. It does put it back. Okay, what am I? A bird? A letter? Or sunlight? I already know the answer. Sunlight. Because sunlight enters through the window, doesn't break glass, and when night falls, sunlight vanishes. Okay, here's the next riddle. I have four legs in the morning, two at noon, but end the night with three. What am I? I know what it is. Okay, again, I have four legs in the morning, two at noon, but end the night with three. What am I? Okay. So think about it. I have four legs in the morning, two at noon, but the end, the night with three. Okay, the answer is a man. And the reason why is because when we enter, if you think about life as morning to evening, when we enter the world, we're on four legs when we crawl. In the afternoon, when we grow up, we're on two legs in our midlife. And then at the end at night, we're we have three because when we get older, we usually walk with a cane, so that's three legs. And the reason why I knew that one, well, I, besides playing the game, is because I heard that uh, riddle before, and I remembered it. Okay, yeah, you guys could read this. The mirror's coming back. Yeah, the reason why I don't read on the, because like I said, it's going to ruin my voice. I already, I felt it going because all the reading. So just pause the video. So you can read it.
Okay, it's saying that the tree is is there's a sealed verse there. There we go. So Thank much. God. But I'm going to tell you, the rest of the area is going to have um, all these stories. So when I'm going through them, I'm, I'm not going to read them. I'm just going to let you guys read them. And again, pause the video if you need to. Because there's... Now, in order to get, um, I believe, 100% completion or whatever, you do have to... There's three people in the village that we have to actually talk to and uh, solve their riddles. All right, so. Now I can finally return to a normal life. Yeah, by sitting on a rock or a stump. This is one of the most bizarre diseases I have ever encountered. I know. That's why we have to help the other villagers, no matter what. Okay, so you got the sealed verse dark, uh, dark execution. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. I like that one. Okay, let's see. Defend. Okay. For a All sealed right. verse, that didn't take much effort. Yes. All a touch too easy, if you ask me. Yep. It's almost as if someone was guiding us to this village. Don't overthink advice. All right. Now, you do have to talk to these three people. One, there's one and two, and I think it's the tree, I think. But um, I'm trying to think if I should do it in this video or if I should do it in the next video. Well, you know what? I'm going to do it in this video. I'm going to do it in this video. All right, let's go. Now we're going to go to this one here. And again, I'm not going to read out the content. I'm going to let you guys read it. Um, One sec. I got to make sure. All right. So this person must be dreaming too. It would appear that way, yes. Okay, we're gonna enter this villager's dream. I can't say I'm very excited to go back there. That dream world sorta of creeps me out. Yeah, Perhaps well. You should spend less time complaining and more time getting on with the mission. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna enter this woman this person's dream. I'm gonna let you guys uh Read this out. Again, pause the video if it's going too fast. Okay, so this this puzzle, you're gonna go in two directions, okay? So in order to escape, you have to go in um, proper directions. Okay, you're gonna go north first because that's the only choice you have.
Okay. Um, this one is going to be east. The next one, uh, north. This one, east. And then this one is going to be north. They find out that that person is a woman. to say about that uh, hopefully there will be no labyrinth next time <laughs> I hear that okay so she's awakened all right or awoken okay hold on yeah I'm just reading Okay, all right, so let's go. Sorry, oh, it took so long. Okay, so we're gonna go this guy now. And another victim. This work certainly is trying. <laughs> we're gonna enter his I dream. I figured a book like you would be into all this word stuff, Vice. Even I have my exceptions. Now let's be all. <laughs> Even I have my exceptions. All right, again, I'll let you guys read it. And when the uh, riddle comes up, and I'll explain it. Those buildings must be huge if we can see them from this far away. What do you think, Vice? Perhaps the it took me like an hour. All right. So one red alpha, one red beta, and the final one red gamma. Okay, remember those three names. Okay, it says only one form is real and the others are false. Okay, the real form will always speak the truth and the false ones will only speak lies. Okay.
okay? Now, if Gamma was telling the truth, that makes Alpha and Beta liars. But then that takes Beta's statement about Alpha that gives the two, to us two truthful statues. So they can't be, okay? So that one's a contradiction of the truth. So it has to be Beta. See, if Alpha was telling the truth, Beta and Gamma would be fakes. But in that case, Gamma's claim that Beta is a fake would be the truth, even though Gamma is a liar, therefore the theory crumbles. Okay, that's why I said it would be a contradiction. Now, if Gamma spoke the truth, right, that makes Alpha and Beta liars. In this situation, however, Beta is calling Alpha a liar. Right? So that would mean two of them are telling the truth. Exactly what I said. Now it says, assume that Beta is telling the truth. If so, Alpha and Gamma are liars, which would make sense. So Beta has to be real. Okay, there we go. So we got him awoken. That was rough. I am positive I have seen that place before. Okay, that's enough. Don't need you getting all weird on me too. Okay, the um, the vision that he saw, uh, you'll understand it more if you play near uh, Automata. If you play near Automata, you'll understand it. You'll understand it a lot more. Okay. There. Now all the villagers can wake up, right? Yes, if the mayor's assumption was correct. I think I have had enough wordplay to last a lifetime. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're telling me. Anyway, let's go see the mayor. Okay, you have to wake up these two people, and the reason why you have to is because he'll give you something for waking them up. If you don't wake them up, then you won't get it. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you so much. Here, I have something for you. Okay, you need all this. You need all the weapons. If you're if you're attempting to get 100% completion, you have to get all the weapons. He has one of them, so you have to wake up the two villagers in order to get this weapon. Wow, this looks valuable. I can really have it. Of course, it's apparently a weapon of some renown, but we have little use for it. Well, thanks a lot, dude. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you again. For everything. All right, so we're done with that, I believe. Okay, let me um check something. I'm gonna check the weapons. Okay, see that weapons doesn't even have enough. Has 20% magic power though, but it goes down by three. but I'll do it because I need the 20% magic power. All right, so let's save again. All right, guys, so I'm gonna end that video, this video here because it was a lot of reading. Um, you know what to do, hit that like button to help me with the YouTube algorithm. Also hit the subscribe and the bell so you know when I upload. Um, so hopefully in the next video, we'll have some more fighting. All right? Hi, Grimoire. All right. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye, all.